Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun. It's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. All right, so today we are going to look at this very interesting story that has been put out by both Neil Sean and Richard Eden. Now this, uh, usually Neil Sean just does four minute little um, videos, three, four minutes where he talks about a specific topic. This one was 20 minutes long. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to it up here for you. So he's been talking about um, the incident at Birkenhead where, and I'll put some pictures up here for you, where that was where Megan was wearing that purple and red outfit, very similar to what Princess Diana had years ago. And she was allegedly pregnant. And suddenly her little, her big bump, which she was only supposed to be like five or six months and she looked huge. Suddenly that bump was not around her stomach anymore. It was down around her knees. Now, and, and you know, that just add to the speculation that what is going on with this pregnancy, which everyone started calling magnancies. And then I do have that five part series on the magnancies. If you haven't watched them, go ahead and check those out. Um, so the one thing that came out that was interesting in Neil Sean's story is that he said that um, Megan and Harry tried to have those pictures suppressed. Um, they, they, she had apparently had a very um, traumatic event happen inside, and you know we kind of know what that was. We think allegedly, um, and they tried to have the pictures suppressed so they wouldn't be published. Well, the news agencies didn't agree, and they were published, and you know. The world has been wondering ever since. So he was talking about that and including some very veiled references to surrogates. Um, and then Richard Eden had done something similar where he published uh, stories about the surrogates and he was making very snarky remarks and very snide remarks and kind of innuendos. And everybody's wondering what in the heck is going on here. All right, so um, I'm going to do a reading on this and find out what's going on. But it's going to be from the perspective of these two news reporters. What do they know? What do they know? Let's see what we can find out. All right, for this one, I'm going to use the Magic Seer Holographic Tarot. Very lovely deck. We'll see what it can tell us about. Uh, and they were specifically talking about Prince Archie. So we're just going to stick with Prince Archie since that was the incident at Birkenhead where the bump was suddenly down around her knees. All right, Let's see what we can find out here. Four, these stories now that are being published, oh my goodness, about Prince Archie and the magnetsies and blah, 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 blah. Ooh. Oh, Eight of Cups in Reverse, wanting to walk away and you can't. Three Swords, Heartbreak and Betrayal. Oh my goodness. All right, so what do these two news reporters know? Neil Sean and Richard Eden. They have both put out videos now. So... What do they know that's that's very relevant to these stories? What do they know? Ten of Cups in reverse. An unhappy family. We have a mom and a dad and two kids. They're very unhappy right now. Um, what do they know that's relevant to this topic? And were they directed by the palace to post these videos? Seven of Pentacles, working, you've put a lot of effort into something and you're waiting for a return on your investment. All right, so were they directed by the palace to post these videos? And what will be revealed, if anything? So it kind of sounds like we're being prepped for something. So what's going to be revealed? What's going to be revealed, if anything, about the story of Prince Archie's birth? And then um, how will Harry be affected by this revelation if one occurs? How's Harry going to be affected by whatever's going to happen? We'll put it that way. How is Harry going to be affected by whatever is going to happen in, re in relevance to these stories? Mm. Two cards want to make an appearance. Ten of Wands, which is a burden, and the Lovers in reverse, which is a split up. Very interesting, okay? All right. So what's going to happen to Megan? when whatever's happens, whatever's going to happen happens in relevance to this story. What's, how's it going to affect Megan? How's it going to affect Megan? And who is talking? There's a turn of luck and someone from the past. 
could be a sibling, could be a, some type of relative from the past, okay? So who's talking? Who is talking? Who's doing the talking? And then why now? Why are they talking now? Why is this suddenly being a topic now when no one's been able to talk about it at all? All right, so Nine of Pentacles in reverse, a woman who's lost her wealth, independent woman. Oops, okay, I think these cards are definitely ready. Five of Swords is fighting. And Three of Pentacles, collaboration between three people for many. All right, one more shuffle here. All right, so I have seven questions. We are gonna do seven cards, two cards, wow. Okay, seven questions, seven cards. Let's see what we get. It's a very interesting story. I'm on energy. Ooh, the magician in reverse. Trying to put a spin on something to make it appear that it's not so. King of Cups. Well, that's very interesting. Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, and death in reverse. Ooh. Okay, so death in reverse and the lovers in reverse. Wow. Okay. All right, we're going to keep those in mind here. All right, so the magician in reverse is um, trying to manifest something and it's not working. You're trying to present a story, trying to spin something and it's not working. King of Cups. This is usually Prince William. There's so many kings of cups in the royal family. Prince William, Charles, Andrew... We're going to see how this plays out, but right now I think this is Prince William, Nine of Pentacles, uh, doing a lot of due diligence, uh, putting the effort in um, and working hard at something, being very trustworthy. Wow. Okay. What in the world? Okay. So for Neil Sean and Richard Eden, what do they know? What do they know that's relevant? Five of Swords, I know that there's some fighting going on, all right? Fighting has erupted, and someone's about to lose their, uh, they think they've won the battle, but they've really lost the war. So someone's fighting, and there's a spin being put on it to try to make it appear like they're not fighting. William knows about it, and a lot of, a lot of hard work and effort has been put into this story. But there's fighting about it. Okay, so can we clarify this? What about the fighting? What about the fighting? What do Neil Sean... All right. Didn't get, get, get my question out. Ooh, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Well, this can be um, some very nasty energy. Uh, it can be represented as a divorce, a divorce card. Ooh. All right, let me see here. So Queen of Swords also can mean malice, uh, deceit, underhandedness, subterfuge. What do they know? They know about the deceit. They know about the untruths, the subterfuge, and there's fighting going on about it. There's fighting maybe as to should this be revealed? There's some fighting going on. Someone's fighting to get this information out. Oh, I got goosebumps. Oh my gosh. Because the spin that's been put on this story is not working. Okay. Interesting. All right. So were they directed by the palace to post those videos? Is that what happened? Three of Pentacles. Well, that popped out when I was shuffling. So this is a collaboration between three people. So there are three people who were in on this to get this story published. All right, so we have Neil Sean, we have Richard Eden, and we have Prince William. Were they directed by someone, by anyone in the palace? They have not only been directed, they've been paid. They've been paid to make this video and to start this story, to start the spin because something needs to come out. I, 
And it just seems to me like um, it, that's William. It could be William or Charles. Charles always shows up as the emperor. So, I mean, this this King of Cups here, this this is William in, in my royal readings. Were they directed by the palace? Yeah, they were actually paid. They were paid. Uh, there was a monetary contract. All right, what is going to be revealed, if anything, about this story? Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, I hope major kiss bumps. Ace of Cups in reverse is about pregnancy loss. It's about suppressed emotions, lots of tears, lots of sadness, and it's also the loss of a pregnancy. What's going to be revealed, if anything? The pregnancy did not happen. If Megan or someone else, allegedly the surrogate, had been pregnant, the pregnancy was not viable. It, it did not complete. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Major, major goosebumps. Okay? Mm. And the story that was put out about the pregnancy is not true. And the spin they put on it didn't work. And William's had enough. And he's worked really hard to get this information out. Because then there was a lot of fighting about it. But what's, what's going to be revealed, if anything, that the pregnancy was not completed? Wow. All right. Ooh, how is Harry going to be affected by this news? He's going to put up a barrier. He's going to be attacked. That's going to cause him mental anguish. That, okay, okay, so this is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is about you're under attack. Um, you're battered and bruised. And you've put up a wall now. This barrier has gone up. How's he going to be affected? He, he is going to be protected in some way. Or he's simply going to put up a barrier and not talk. Because this, this spin, the story that was put out, is not true. William knows it, and he's really worked hard. William is the one, allegedly, who's been working hard to get this information out. I'm not sure what the barriers were. Probably, you know, um, HIPAA laws. Um, there's just so much protection that goes around medical information, and this is really medical information, so um, he's worked hard at getting something out there. All right. So Harry is going to be affected by he, that he's going to put up a barrier. He's going to withdraw and not talk. How's Megan going to be affected? Page of Wands. Page of Wands? So this is either um, Wands or Air Signs. Usually the Page of Wands is good news. Good news. How can how can she be affected with good news? How is she going to be affected? She's gonna she's gonna put a spin on it to try to make it seem like it wasn't her fault. Um she's almost relieved that this information is coming out because if if the revelation that she was never pregnant, allegedly, comes out, she's like almost like Good, I can finally talk about this. And I'm going to say that I was paid to be quiet. She's going to say that someone paid her to not talk. It's good news this has come out. I can finally talk about it because I was told not to talk about it. I was paid to, to not talk about it. Yeah, she's going she's gonna to project and throw the blame on someone else. Who's talking? Who's the person who's talking? The world in reverse. Okay, the world is about, um, it can be about destiny. Uh, upright, it can be about a successful completion. Um, and in reverse, it can be about you have not fulfilled your destiny. You have not successfully completed something. So who is talking? Oh, the person who didn't complete the pregnancy. Is this a surrogate? Allegedly. Hmm. The world also refers to 
the state of the restored world when the law of manifestation shall have been carried to the highest degree of natural perfection. But it's also more especially a story of the past, referring to that day when all was declared to be good. Wow. Who's talking? Someone who was there at the very beginning. I think this is the surrogate. Um, I would have expected actually the empress to come up, the actual mother, but... Someone who, oh gosh, I wonder if this was the uh, OBGYN as well. Someone who was there when this pregnancy did not complete. Whoever was there to witness, I, I don't know, I just get like it's a surrogate. The surrogate allegedly is the one who's talking or someone who was there witnessing this pregnancy loss, allegedly. These are just, this is just tarot, okay? I'm just telling you what the cards are telling me. Don't come after me, come after the cards. Goodness. All right. Um, why now? Why is this story coming out now? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Okay, so it's coming out now because they don't want anyone to monetarily profit off of this anymore. Okay, so this Ace of Pentacles upright is about big money, offerings, uh, a new financial opportunity, and in reverse, shutting down that big money, shutting down that that monetary advantage. Why now? Because they're trying to stop people from profiting off this story. Profit, profiting off the idea of the children. So the barrier has been up about the children, and now this it all needs to be dispensed. No more money being made off the kids. No more money being made off this idea that um, allegedly they have children. I think that's what this is about. Wow. All right, so let's do a quick wrap-up here. What do Neil Sean and Richard Eden know? They know that there's been a lot of fighting, and there's been a lot of fighting about this deceit, this, this vicious deceit that has been permeated to the world that... It, it's a spin on a story, and it didn't work. No one fell for it. They've had some help from, I think this is William, allegedly, and he worked really hard to get all the information, to get all the receipts in place, because it was blocked before, and now it this, this blockage is being removed. Oh, boy. All right. And then um, were they directed by the palace to post the videos? There was some kind of agreement, some kind of contract between three people. So we have Richard Eden, Neil Sean, and whoever made the agreement, which in this case could be could be Prince William, allegedly. Someone who worked really hard to get this all this stuff put to get all this information together so that it could not be contested. And then um what will be um revealed, if anything? I can't believe I got this card. That the pregnancy did not complete. This is loss. This is a pregnancy loss. Ace of Cups in reverse. Pregnancy loss. Miscarriage. Whatever. It just it pregnancy that did not complete. A lot of sadness. A lot of tears. All right. And then how is Harry going to be affected by all this? He is going to get. He's going to get attacked a lot. You had to know. You knew. And, this, and he's going to throw up a barrier. He's going to retreat behind a wall of protection. I kind of get the feeling he's going to go to his uncle's, um, uh, Earl Spencer. I think he's going to go over there. That's kind of just what I'm getting. I'm retreating behind this barrier, between, behind this wall that I've put up. And how is Megan going to be affected? She's going to be like, oh, this is great news. I can finally talk about this, and I can finally tell everybody they paid me to do it. I wanted to tell everybody about it, and they wouldn't let me. So you're going to blame everybody else. And then who's talking? Uh, I think the person who was there when this miscarriage or whatever it was allegedly happened. So the surrogate or someone who was a witness there, who witnessed the end of this pregnancy. And then why now? Because they, they want to stop any money being made off of the idea of the children. Because I think they have an inkling that plans for big money were in the works, and they're just, they're like, no, nope, we're stopping it right now. 
we're blocking it. We're putting up the barrier. You are not going to make any money off of the idea of these, of especially Archie. Wow. Okay, there you go. Whew, I still have goosebumps. Goodness. All right, I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like and share. And thank you so much for being here with me. If you're a subscriber, you are amazing. Thank you for all your comments. And if you're not a subscriber, well, heck, you need to click that button and subscribe now, don't you? Come on, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't miss another reading. Thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you again soon on Royal Tarot Readings. Bye-bye, everybody.